this video we'll be looking at earth geometry paper one type so we have a question that says a soccer match kicked off at 14 hours at a so at a it kicked off at 14 hours what should be that kick kick off time or the soccer match at b at b we don't know so what we're going to do is you can tell from here that place a all right and press b on the same latitude but they're in different what longitudes so we need to find the difference in longitudes now because these are in different hemispheres it's like they're like this let me just draw a diagram right it's like one is this side or one this side because this is east and this is west it's like this is place b a is here then b is uh b is this side at 15 Sorry, let me just redraw this. Uh, so this is place A, and this is B. So at the, so that's saying this is at uh, this is at the, uh, B is at fifteen west, all right, or A is at thirty east. So what actually that trying to say here? So how do we find the the time at at b first we need to find the difference along so since the, these these two uh, places are in different hemispheres we're going to add with the longitudes so you add the longitudes which is 30 plus 15 this will give you 45 degrees they're in different hemispheres that's why we are adding so we have you have 45 degrees now we know that one hour right is equal to 15 degrees so we need to find the time that in terms of these degrees 45 degrees so we're going to discover that x will be equal to 45 divided by 15 and we invite 45 divided by 15 what do you get remember this is paper one no 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 calculator you get three hours now the question is, these hours which you found, are you going to add or are you going to subtract? Let's go back to our drawing. We found that, uh, sorry about this drawing, is something else. Okay, I drew something like this. So, and we said place A is here and place B is here. Now they want you to find at place B. Now as you go towards the west, this is west, this is east. As you go towards the west, time decreases. As you go towards the east, time increases. So we have to subtract this because we are decreasing in time. So we have 14 hours minus 3 hours. So at B, the football match kicked at 11 hours. Now in mathematics, we don't put these dots. I repeat, no dots. Just write like they have written it. 11 hours. Like that. Okay, so B says two towns P and Q are on the same longitude. So we have P. P is 40 de degrees north and 15 degrees west. What of Q? Uh, since they are on the same longitude, we don't know the where the latitude where Q is, but we know for sure that the longitude is the same, which is 15 degrees. So far, that's the information that we have. And we also have the distance between the two places as giving to be 7,200 nautical miles. Now, how can you find the position of Q? Now, we have we have the same longitude. That means to find the distance, distance is equal to theta times sikiste. Right? That's the formula for distance. In most paper one questions, you use this for, for finding distance. Now, what is theta? Theta is, is the change change in latitude. Since these two places are on the same uh, longitude, so you are, you, you are finding the difference in, in latitude. Now, to find the difference in latitude, that, that means you are getting this and this. Now, how, how can you know that this is on, on the north side or is, is on, this, on the south side? Let's draw a circle of the earth and then we can predict this is the 
So this side is waist. That's what we know for sure. So if this side is waist, and they're saying they're on the same longitude, let's call this longitude 15 degrees. All right, so 15 degrees waist. That means one P can be there because P is there north. Now, Q can't again be on the same side. No, it has on the other side. So let's put Q here. So we are sure that Q is on the south side. And because they're in different hemispheres, like what I talked earlier, we're going to add the two. So, so we'll do this. So we are saying distance, which is 7,200, will be equal to the change in this. It will be this plus this, which is 40 plus X times 60. Now, 7,200. Now, this has to multiply all these numbers here. So I'm going to have 2,400 plus 60x so this will be 7200 minus 2400 7200 minus 4200 you get 30 so you are 2500 2400 sorry so this will be equal to 60x so what we're getting is is 4,800 is equal to 60x. So you divide both sides by 60 and both sides by 60. You get x will be equal to 80 degrees. Now this is 80 degrees south. You need we need to indicate the the position. So that's the position. So the position for Q becomes 80 degrees south and 15 degrees west. Concluded. Thank you for watching.